when you get in the blocks, you're getting adjusted, you're getting ready, you're setting your blocks, and the energy next to you is just different. Justin Gatlin of the United States, just 22 years old, born in Brooklyn, where he used to jump fire hydrants as a youth. In fact, the other kids finally got on their bicycles. Because you're used to train with training partners, so you're used to that kind of energy. Now you're in the blocks. And for that one moment, that one moment, you come to the realization that I'm really about to do a start, like in a stadium full of people in 100 meters. And now it's the Olympics. Now it's the Olympic finals. And then boom, the gun goes off. <laughs> That's the craziest thing in the world. To feel that, to know that one split second is, is reality. And then now you sink back into your fantasy world of becoming Olympic champion, which is about to come true. From the gun going off, all I'm thinking about Good stuff from angles. Rogers, as you'd expect. CC gets out very quickly as well, but Gatlin now into his running. Burrell over on the far side is amongst the bit. Gatlin starting to move away. Rogers trying to give chase, but can't. 9.92, the winning time. Aaron Brown finished quickly, as you might expect, from a 200 meter man. But no doubt there, he was the pre-race. This is the, the benefit, where you're lining up and you're saying, OK, this is what I've been training for. Now it's time to put it together. And if you go out there and not execute, then all those days leading up to it, in the fall when you're dying and going through all those hard workouts, it's all for naught. Because you didn't show up in those 10, 20 seconds and show what you're capable of. So there's all these different things that run through your mind to help bring you into that moment. And when you step on the line, you know you gotta execute because if you don't, then you mess up and you don't get it back. When I went out there, I put my best foot forward at practice because the way you practice is the way you perform. What you put out at practice is what you're gonna get when you get on that line. You don't get ready meet day. You get ready when you're at practice preparing every day. That's that's when you're preparing, that's when you're developing, that's when you're mentally preparing for the race, the first race of the season to the last race of the season. And you're preparing at practice. And once you're at the meet, it's go time. It's show time. Ain't no time to think. Ain't no time to, oh, maybe I should do this, maybe I should do that. No. All of that was for practice time. Now it's time to get this check. It's time to get this money now. It's go time. With competition, you, it's always a two-way mirror. Like, I can't be that champion who thinks that I don't need to do my homework because I'm already winning. In essence, you really have to because all those other competitors that you're competing against, they're doing their homework and studying you. I'm not so far ahead of the rest of the field that I can just disrespect them and think I can, you know, be thinking about what dance I'm gonna do when I win when I'm lining up because I, I respect my competitors. I know what it takes to succeed at the high level. And I, need, I need to be at my absolute best to give myself the best shot to do that. that was a very dominant performance. I'm telling myself, okay, you've come across the world, literally, to run this race. You have 10 or 20 seconds to prove yourself and why you're worth it. You know if you mess up this race, you're not gonna get the same type of invites for the next races that are up in the season. So you gotta have a good showing for that because you wanna maintain that level of excellence or a certain standard so you know you're gonna get that call to run the next down in the race. Holding a meet and a half away. He's going to win. At the moment, Gulliam performs from Gatlin Rogers. <laughs> the race, so he shut it down with at least 30, if not a full 40. Continues to go away. Aaron Brown. I'm always constantly tweaking and working and figuring out who changed their form, why they changed their form. They look very similar to me. Their drive phase looked very similar. Oh, they're finished. They're finishing much stronger. They're in the weight room more. They're more confident. I'm reading my atmosphere, my area, my element, all the players are, that are in it. And then this, that's when I go home or go to the track and I try to hone in on my skills. And if, I have, if I'm going to get somebody who's a great starter and they may be even a better starter than me, then I have to sharpen my skills. I have to work on my angles, become lower, become more aggressive, come out and transition faster. Like, those are things that I have to break down. So I'm always going back to the laboratory, always trying to figure out how I can be better, always going back to the garage and tweaking certain things. People always had something to say, oh, you was only fast in high school or college, yeah, you're going to be okay, or you're a freshman, so, you know, don't expect too much. Like, I don't give a damn about that. Sha'Carri Richardson from LSU! <laughs> Like we, when we get on this line, when we get on this track, it's me and the clock. 
it's you and the clock. Ain't no, ain't no age involved. Ain't no classification involved. It's who wanted, who been working the hardest to get down to that line first. And that was my biggest thing to myself that I drove myself to focus on to to achieve is the fact that you're not gonna put me in a category because you couldn't achieve those goals because you couldn't do that when you was a such age or such category and stuff like that. My goal was to be the best I could be as soon as I could be the best.